Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. I'm trusting my family's future to a dog. That's it. I'm officially crazy. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Something for you? Head over there. Go there. Done and done. I am damaged. Kellogg will not be pleased. Over here. That's out of reach. Kellogg's secure facility infiltrated. Termination required. Hey, there's something you need. See if he had anything worth taking. Grab anything useful. There. Capabilities. Fascinating. Move here. Count on it. You want me to take a look at that terminal? You say the word. Always that away with machines. the plan. The sensitivity hey, of my listening. systems clearly needs adjustment. Head over there. Sure thing. Sorry, can't do it.
that may take a while. Grab that. Ears. Get that. John Over and there. John. frozen TV dinner. Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and apple cobbler. Over here. And do. Hello. Come on, Not 
that it's an option. Psst. I'm listening. Can't be done. How about we try something else? Head over there. Good plan. Go there. Can do. Over there. Good plan. Get into position. John and John. Hostile sensor reading detected. Head over there. And do. This tech, you were barely human. Commonwealth. 
not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. Nick, where's your son? What happened? I... I didn't make it in time. Kellogg was working with the Institute, and he... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols trip those memories out. No, oh, Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory. No, I skipped that part of the orientation film while they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back together again. Look, the sad thing is... I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Romari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name, it's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. But not us. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there or we can head out together. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. Hey, Piper. You know, the Institute has a lot of enemies. The Minutemen tangled with them once. The Railroad still does. I've even got some notes on these new guys. The Brotherhood of Steel. That Brotherhood airship is hard to miss. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't do subtle. From what I've heard, they take whatever they want. Especially if it's high tech. They just might have the muscle to give the Institute a run for their money, but they're... Let's just say they have their own agenda. 
You said something about the, the railroad. Supposedly, they help runaway synths escape the Institute, but they're secretive, ultra paranoid. The only thing I have is a rumor, a, a code phrase. Follow the Freedom Trail. Tell me about the Minutemen. You know that group you rescued and conquered? As far as I know, they're the last Minutemen left in the Commonwealth. They used to be a volunteer army, dedicated to protecting friends, family, and neighbors. Sounds soft, but they were a real thing at one point. up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Insurance? I'm listening. That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Of the people, for the people? <laughs> brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. Brotherhood of Steel, better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. Nick, I let's go you talk to Amari. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Excuse me. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Here for Amari? She's downstairs. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Uh, I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. We need a dead man's memories. Guy named Kellogg. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. I mean... Technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Ego, fetch me the brain. No? No, I will not. Now, do you have it? How much of the brain do you need exactly? That is not an encouraging question. I suppose I'll have to make do with whatever you can find. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. 
And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. So the brain is still good, right? Possibly. There's no sign of decay, so the tech is probably preserving the tissue, injecting some kind of compound to keep it stable. But there's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. There could be long-term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Mmm, fresh toast. Uh, it's nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. I'm static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. Think of it like computer encryption. And we don't have the password. Let's see. A single mind wouldn't be able to crack it. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Nick and I are gonna share a mind? Yeah, I'm not gonna see him in any compromising positions, am I? Yeah, if a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son by now. Um, uh, no. You won't have to worry about that. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. Any idea what I'm gonna see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. 
I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like, before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kinda green. I know. But that's where I... The thing about happiness is... You only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. I was the hot shit, the gunslinger from the hub, rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them.
found another memory to try. I'll connect it. Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it over? <laughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Come here. Come no, here. Wait. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. 
even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers... They weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. But the cry And I can't get over X688, ready to relay with Sean Bye Mr. Kellogg, I hope I see you again soon Bye And no Teleportation Now it all makes sense Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute, because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there, as soon as you're ready. Movement 
months, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? I saw Kellogg's life. The man who ruined my family. The man I killed. That's right. He was a human being just like the rest of us. And he had reasons for being what he was. However cruel. How does that make you feel? I... I'm not sure, Doctor. I don't know if there's any right way to feel, either. We're getting off track. The important thing is that we discovered the Institute's greatest secret, teleportation. The only question is, what do we do now? What? You don't have a spare teleporter lying around? What kind of egghead are you? This is serious. No one outside the Institute could dream of making that kind of technology. Wait, maybe that's it. That memory about Virgil, their scientist who went rogue? If we found him... There's gotta be another way. We delved into every memory we could find. This is the only thing I can think of that might get us more answers. I don't know. I'm not even sure we can track him down. The memory gave us a starting point. The glowing sea. But that can't be right. Trying to survive there is... unthinkable. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. D-E-A-D. -E so be sure you find a way to get through there with your life intact. And good luck. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. You wanna try for round two? Let's go! What? What are you talking about? Wait. Were you just playing a joke on me? I guess that's for you to wonder and for me and Kellogg's memories to know for sure. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me.